Hi viewers, welcome to my class on mechanics of materials. In today's class, I'll explain two numerical examples on composite bars. So let us start with a numerical example. A reinforced concrete column 300 mm by 250 mm cross section is reinforced with 8 steel rods of 16 mm diameter each. Find the stresses induced in steel and concrete when the column is subjected to an axial compressive load of 200 kN. The modular ratio for the materials is 15. So I have shown in the figure a concrete column, the cross section of which is 300 mm by 250 mm and the 8 steel rods are inserted inside. So usually columns will have steel rods uh, to strengthen it. So number of steel rods used in this case is 8 and each steel rod is of 16 mm diameter and the force acting which is a compressive force usually columns will be subjected to compressive forces and compressive force on the column is 200 kilonewton. The question is to find out the stresses induced in both steel rods and concrete as a result of this load and you are given the modular ratio for the material as 15. The load given is 200 kilo newton, so you can write it as 200,000 newton. Now the modular ratio is given as 15. Modular ratio means it can be EC by ES or ES by EC. But you should identify this as ES by EC because Usually steel will have high Young's modulus compared to concrete. So the problem stated uh, modular ratio means it is ES by EC, not EC by ES. If it is EC by ES, it should be less than 1. So ES by EC is 15. Here you need to calculate the area of cross section of both steel and concrete. Total area supporting the load for steel. So one steel rod it is uh, having an area of pi by 4 d square okay pi by 4 into 16 square similar 8 rods are there so you need to multiply with 8 for getting the area of cross section of 8 steel rods so pi by 4 into 16 square into 8 that will give the area of cross section of steel rod it is 1608.495 mm square the total area of cross section of the builder is 300 mm into 250 mm but out of this total area, steel is occupying some area. Now, even though it is a small area, you need to subtract the area of steel to get the, the area of concrete. Okay? By reducing the area of steel, you will get the area occupied by concrete. So total area of the pillar minus area occupied by steel, which will give the area of concrete. So you will get 300 into 250 minus area of steel is 1608.495 which gives 73,391.5 mm square. So compared to steel, this uh, concrete is occupying larger area. Concrete is having bulk area of cross section. Now we have that uh, first equation. Sigma S by ES is equal to Sigma C by EC. Or uh, that is strain in steel and strain in concrete are equal. Sigma S by ES is equal to Sigma C by EC. Or you can rearrange that to Sigma S is ES by EC into Sigma C. Okay. So we get this relation by equating the strain in both the materials are equal. That means sigma s by es is equal to sigma c by ec. By rearranging this, you get this equation. Why strengths are equal? Because deformations has to be equal. It is a composite bar. When it is subjected to load, both will reduce in length by the same extent. Because it is rigidly connected. The steel rods and concrete are rigidly connected. Both will decrease in length by the same extent only. So the deformations are equal and the, that deformations are in same length. So you will get the strains in both the materials equal. That means sigma s by es is equal to sigma c by ec or sigma s is equal to es by ec into sigma c. 
so you get sigma s is equal to 15 times sigma c that means stress induced in steel is 15 times the stress induced in concrete so unit area of steel is taking 15 times more uh, load compared to the unit area of concrete that doesn't mean that steel is taking maximum load unit area of steel is taking 15 times more load than the unit area of concrete so we have a second relation that is load taken by steel plus load taken by concrete is equal to total load because the total load applied on the column is shared by both uh, steel and concrete so load taken by steel is sigma SAS and load taken by concrete is sigma CAC so that is the total load which is given now sigma S we know that is it has to be a 15 times sigma C as long as modular ratio is 15 stress induced in steel is always 15 times uh, stress induced in concrete so that relation always a whole good irrespective of the load the magnitude of load acting on the column if you increase the load also this, this relation holds good because modular ratio is 15 so this relation has to be satisfied always so sigma s is 15 times sigma c into uh, the area of steel is 1608.495 and sigma c into ac is 73391.5 so from by solving that you will get sigma c is 2.051 newton per mm square so you we get the stress induced in concrete as 2.051 newton per mm square that means one mm square or unit area of uh, concrete is bearing a load of 2.051 newton now after getting the stress in concrete you can find out the stress induced in steel as we already know that stress induced in steel has to be 15 times more than stress induced in concrete so it's 15 into 2.051 is equal to 30.763 newton per mm square so steel is taking per mm square 30.763 newton load but uh, area of steel is less so the total load bared by steel has to be less compared to concrete because concrete occupies maximum area and even though that stress uh, the load bearing capacity of concrete is less compared to steel the area occupied by concrete is more and the concrete will be sharing more load than steel in this case you can find out the load taken by concrete as stress into area of uh, concrete and similarly load taken by steel as stress into area of steel one one value if you get suppose you get a ps the load taken by steel you can find out the load taken by concrete as total load p minus the load taken by concrete let us work out another example a concrete column 250 mm by 250 mm